Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 21 of Direwolf20's FTB Revolution series. Uh, did I say revolutions? Revelations. Look what I made, it's a rain shield for random things. See, random things has a bunch of nifty gadgets in it. Oh, that's beautiful. That, that is beautiful. Uh, it, it, it only affects the client side, so it doesn't actually stop it from raining, but it just gets rid of the rain particles and sound. So like, oh, pretty cool, right? See, if I remove it, it's clearly still raining. It just, you know, hides it so that you don't know that it's raining. Shh, it's a secret. Rain is a secret to everyone. Um, I'm debating where I want to stick it. I feel like I feel like it should be somewhere, but like also where I'm not gonna see particles. Yeah, that works. I want to make sure I didn't see those fire particles through the through the wall. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, right? Oh, beautiful. Made a quick rain shield. They're super cheap, by the way. Just like some nether rack and a blaze rod. So if you've been to the if you've been to the nether, you can make yourself a rain shield. It's pretty pretty fancy. Um, so I forgot which mod it was from, and it's from my friend Random Things. Random Things has some cool stuff in it, man. There's just nice random things, right? Uh, let's make sure we're actually looking at random things. Uh, it adds all kinds of nifty blocks. Look at this, luminous blocks and uh, a voxel projector, which is a work in progress, a potion vaporizer, quartz lamps, entity detector. I remember we used that one recently. That was pretty useful. Analog emitter, fluid display, block breaker, like all kinds of good stuff. It also has like the good item collectors, which are really good. Thank you very much. Those are like really good item collectors. So all kinds of nifty gadgets. Uh, what do we want to do today? That's a super good question that I really don't have a huge answer to. I think I want to play with Thomcraft again. Um, we, we, I, I started playing with it two episodes ago and I decided I was going to hold off for a minute because uh, I wanted to work on other things. Uh, but I'm ready to jump back in. Uh, let's uh, take a look, shall we? Uh, so we've, uh, we've got a Thomonomonom. Thomonomonom. And uh, infusion might be a fun thing to jump into. I also want to do a little bit of uh, spell casting with Oromancy. Like, I want to play with some of these spells. I never really did get, like, a good... Like, I wonder how powerful you can get with these things. That's what I've never really super figured out, right? Um, is, like, how, how powerful can you get? I would like to figure that out at some point. Um, but we'll get there. We'll get there, right? Lots of lots of things and stuff to do. Um, alchemy might be cool to break into. If we got into alchemy, we could like totally do like the Essentia smelting processing and the jars uh, and the pipes and the Essentia transport and like all that cool stuff, right? Alchemical automation, uh, centrifuge, Essentia smelter. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Like, because we could totally, you know, beeline our way into automating Essentia stuff. Because not only does Thalmcraft give you some cool crafting abilities, but also there's, like, cool stuff you can make. Um, and if you get into the alchemy stuff here pretty well, then you can get into Arcane Infusion even easier. Because Arcane Infusion is a lot easier if you automate alchemy. So here's the thing. You need a decent amount of space if you're going to do any real uh, stuff. Um, I'm still recording my backlogs. Uh, for only one or two more episodes uh, before my backlog is going to be complete and I'll be back from all my travels. So I'm hoping that uh, by the time this video airs, I've hopefully gotten some submissions for Thawncraft type buildings. But what I'm going to do is basically just build my Thawncraft structures outside for this episode and maybe next. Um, and then when I get back, we'll look at doing uh, hopefully a paste in of something cool that somebody wanted to submit. Because I like showing off your buildings. Also, you guys are way better builders than I am. So there's that. Um, so I'm going to take you and you hey thanks buddy no not that that much better uh and you're coming outside with me for a few minutes um so what we want to realistically have here is this with this and we want our reservoir ready to go boom and you start bubbling sweet now um to get progressed let's go through the thumb phenomenon and see what's up um yeah, that sounds like a good plan. So basically what we're gonna get to is this point, right? So what I'm thinking we need to do is some alumentum, some alchemical metallurgy, and then into Essentia smelting, which will break us into that path. And then there's pipes, but we usually skip those um, because, I mean, like we'll still do the research for it, but like you, pipes are wonky to use, right? Uh, so let's do elementum first, right? Nitor is a useful substance. It provides heat light and is aesthetically pleasing. Unfortunately, it provides only slightly more heat than a torch, enough to slowly heat up some water or keep you warm at night. Uh, but you want, you want, you want elementum. This is good stuff. 
Uh, you can take some coal and add more of the essentia it already contains and possibly a little bit of prodigio for an extra kick. If my calculations are correct, the resulting substance, which I have called alumentum, should burn three times longer than normal coal. That's pretty good stuff. Um, and, and we can automate this, and we probably will at some point, because that's a fun automation to do. Because alumentum ain't terrible to make. It just needs some potentia, which we can get off redstone, and it needs uh, prodigio and coal. But really, it's just like... It's coal plus a little bit of prodigio plus another coal, right? Because uh, if you look at coal, it's 10 and 10, right? So if we got this, right, um, it's 10 and 10, right? And now what, what has prodigio on it? Cobblestone usually does. Um, I know that is like a thing, right? But that has a lot of terra on it. So I'd rather not use cobblestone if I can avoid it. Um, I always pronounce this wrong. Perdish Perdicio. I'm pronouncing it correctly. Who's, who said I was pronouncing it wrong? Better not. I was pronouncing it just fine. Reliquary stuff. What else has Perdicio on it? Uh, something with like just Perdicio or like a really small amount of, of other junk on it. Right? Um, let, me, let me look through these for a minute and see what I can find. You know, sand is pretty even in the amount of it's, it's definitely better than cobble, which is five to one. It's five to five. Yeah, so if I'm not mistaken, we drop one of these dudes in, plus a sand, and then another coal on top of that. And you'll get that plus the remaining five, right? So boom, boom, boom. Not too shabby, right? And then we're going to want some quartz dudes, right? Quartz slivers. Just drop the whole stack in there, and you're good to go. Now, can I get my aqueous accumulator? I can. Is there like a better way? I don't think so, unfortunately. Uh, to to kind of like do this. Like, what do we got going on down here? Um, let's do thermal fluid ducts. Hardened fluid ducts. Doesn't super matter. Um, because what I'm thinking we'll, we'll want to do is run this dude right down to an aqueous accumulator. That might uh, might be surrounded by some dirt. Yeah, I like that idea. And then we don't have to worry about filling the thing no more, right? That sounds like a good time to me. Does that sound cool? So yeah, and then you can also help to fill up my reservoir every now and then. So that keeps that thing full of water? Beautiful. Okay. Quick nap. So that's my alumentum. Right? And that's a pretty easy way to make alumentum, right? It's just sand, and then you get a little leftover terra, which I'm not going to worry too much about, right? Um, and we can always turn them into V crystals, and that works out pretty well. I'm trying to be like as efficient with the, the V and the, and, the, and the flux as possible, so I'm really trying to avoid polluting the world with a lot of flux. And, and quartz crystals makes that pretty easy, right? Quartz slivers, like that makes it really easy to do. Who's that? What are you doing, buddy? I'm working here. Look, it's daytime. Stop teleporting into me. Ugh. Enderman. Right? I'll tell you. Just wanted to come see what I was doing, did you? Alright. Let's uh, we'll get back to work. So, now that we've made that, we can get into Essentia smelting. I see a time fast approaching where I will need to have access to multiple different kinds of Essentia. That's right. Um, using alchemical principles. Right. What do I need to do? This should be able to find a breakdown object and we're going to Before I can start over, I need to study essentially in the purest form available to me, V crystals. By subjecting these crystals to um, destructive testing, I should be able to determine how they react in various extremes in the best way. I should start with the primal essentia. Uh, do you want me to just drop them in there or do you want me to make them? Like, is that what you wanted me to do? Nope, because that didn't. Oh, you want me to make them. Okay, you want me to make them. All right, well, that's fair enough. Uh... See, I already... Uh... 
Is that what you wanted me to do? Yep. Okay. Uh, so if I did, like, that, we'll get me fire, right? That looks pretty good. And you're staying full of water? Good job. Love it. Uh, water, Ordo, and Perdicio, right? So sand, obviously. Let's do two. And then let's be prepared to make more of these, because you know we need more of these, right? So that's Perdicio. Ordo? What's like a good source of Ordo? That's a good question. I think I remember it being like... Silicon has Ordo on it? Yeah, among other things, though. Among other things. Not that it's terrible, the other things, but like, what's a good source of Ordo? I remember it being like lead or something like that, right? Doesn't lead have Ordo on it? Like a decent amount? Yeah, decent amount, along with metallum. Okay, not bad. Hardened glass because it's... All right, I think I'm just going to do lead for this, right? Oof. Ah, okay, cool. And then the last one that I'm going to need to do here would be aqua. Sugarcane has that, right? Oh, wow, I'm really low on sugarcane. I mean, it has enough to get me by, but I would love it to be more. Let's go get more sugarcane real quick, shall we? <gasps> Yay, flight. Are you guys such that you're uh, growing over here? I mean, this is a really far away sugarcane farm, but I forget why I put it all the way over here. I think it was just like, at the time, the nearest water source that I knew of. So that'll do. Sugarcane for days. Man, look at my greenhouse. That 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 greenhouse glass is shenanigans, by the way. How fast that is. Like, holy cow, is that shenanigans. And remember, I'm frequently dropping two of something in there because, like, it needs two of each Essentia to, to create the, the crystals. So, yeah, it's a thing. Herba, yay! So that should have given me Essentia smelting complete. Nice. My experiments are promising, if a bit unpredictable. Fortunately, the fires were easily quenched and my hair should grow back in a few days. It seems melting objects down in a special alchemical process is my best option. Unfortunately, my tests so far have been on primal crystals. I should also test my finding on crystals containing secondary essentia. All right. Um, yeah, that looks cool. So basically, in order to unlock essentia smelting further, we need to, to get other types. So vacuous, lux, modus. Uh, these are things that I kind of know how to make. So I think chests have vacuous on them, right? No? No? Maybe buckets? Buckets have some vacuous, though quite a lot of iron, which I'm, like, hesitant to make that many, that much iron. Uh, but whatever. Uh, modus, I think, is trapdoors. Trapdoors usually had modus on them, right? Yeah. So let me have, like, two of you. Uh, Lux is a torch. So I'll do two of you. Uh, what else did you want, buddy? Gellum is ice. Vitreous is glass. There you go. Ice or snow. How much Gellum on you? Just enough. Okay. There we go, now we're cooking, right? Look at it all. This is gonna be a lot. That was a little bit of a mess, wasn't it? I am sure that was not good for the environment. Not terrible. Where am I standing on chunk lines, by the way? Not terrible. Not the worst, the worst environmental disaster Dyer's ever caused. Maybe not an ideal situation, but, you know. A few more quartz livers, please. Nice. Okay. So that thing's nice and empty, and our book should have us having been made. Did I just make a bunch of these? Vacuous and Lux and Modus. Maybe I actually have to have in my inventory. That could be. Um... That could be. I 
All right, so now I need Metallum, Victus is life, Mortis is death. And I know we made some Metallum. Victus is life. I want to say apples have big Victus on them. Yeah, they do. And Mortis is death, so I want to say zombie flesh. Really? Rotten flesh has nothing on it? That can't be. Huh. I've learned something new from scanning vacuous. That's weird. Why doesn't rotten flesh have anything on it? Uh, slime balls, do you have death? You do not. Uh, skulls usually have it, or heads. I think we have a lot of zombie heads. You usually have? Yeah, you've got some good stuff going on, zombie head. Okay. Sweet, is that everything? Check, 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 check. Permutatio. Copper, I want to say? Man, I'm getting good at remembering all these things. It's been so long since I played with Thongcraft, so the fact that I even remember this at all is kind of an amazement to me. Yay! I'm not saying those are the best sources for those things that I was looking for, but they're a good one. And, uh, you know, they work. I've managed to break down all my samples of primary and secondary senshi into a liquid state. The process has been slow and tedious. However, until I simplify the process, it will never be practical for large-scale usage. Luckily, extracting essentia from objects has a lot in common with smelting of metals. Using a furnace as a base, I might be able to create an essentia smeltery that automatically melts down items and separates individual essentia. So we need an essentia smeltery. We also need a theory of alchemy, right, uh, to unlock this. So let's get our theory crafting going on over here. So you've got some paper. Um... I have a lot of this stuff on me, and you're probably saying, like, Dyer, why don't you put that away? The answer is that um, I can put this stuff away. But uh, you can use some of these crystals sometimes for research, and that might not be a terrible thing. Um, you can also do your research near certain things that will help them. So I think if we move our research table here a sec... And put it out here near the crucible. That might be cool. See, so yeah, there's a crucible nearby. Look at that. So by activating the crucible on the research table, we can say, hey, I want to focus on alchemy research. And now when we create our theories, we will be more likely to get this stuff, right? Um, gain 15 alchemy and one bonus draw from permutatio. See? Boom. See? Using up that permutatio crystal gave you something cool. Uh, da -da -da. Gain 20 oromancy. Uh, gain 19 artifice gain 15 oromancy and a bonus draw I'll do this one, that sounds cool um, gain 25 alchemy sweet vitium, oh I need vitium I don't think I have any of that That's. Uh, I think netherward has vitium on it am I right about that? because we have a lot of that stuff Not. but we have enough to make a crystal Which will do for me. Hooray! Uh, ba ba ba. Oh, I'm just clicking things at this point. Uh, gain 15 alchemy and a bonus draw. There's also a chance you'll gain one inspiration. Cool. Spiritual focus. Gain 15 oromancy. Gain 15 infusion. I'll just do that. Why not? Um. Oh, cool. I'll do that. Complete theory. All right, let's do another one. Uh, gain 15 alchemy. That sounds good, because that's what I'm going for. 15 alchemy. That seems cool. Duh, 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 duh. Sure. Do I have that? Uh, Fabrico and Cognition. I don't have either of those, to be fair. I could probably get them, right? Because isn't paper going to have Cognito on it and a crafting table will have Fabrico on it? Yeah, I can pull that off. And then that'll get me some more uh, alchemy research because that's what I'm going for, right? So let's do that one real quick. Hey, buddy. I was, out, I was gone for like five seconds. Can you not? Thanks. Uh, so paper, I want to say, yeah, there's a little bit of... Cool. So that's that. And then a uh, crafting table. How 
has 20. Okay, cool. There you go. And that should be cool. Nice. Uh, gain 15 alchemy. I need viniculum. Uh, viniculum is, uh, I think, poison, right? Isn't that what that is? Poison? Uh, let's put you away for a minute, and then you as well. So spider eyes might have some viniculum on them. Nope. Uh, fermented spider eye? Which one is this? Vinculum. There's no eye in there. Oh, that's trap. Oh. Oh, that would be soul sand then, right? Yep. So like two soul sand should do me. Cool. Hooray! We're getting there on alchemy. 15 more alchemy. Oh, that's the flight one. Boy, oh boy, is alchemy a lot of things. Let's get a chest real quick. Just so I can, like, put some stuff away for a minute. And then I also want more of these. Uh, so flight would be feathers, I think, usually have that on them. Yeah, they do. All right. Uh, gain 15 artists, 15 alchemy. So vitreous, I know we have some of that. We're totally going to pull off this thing this time. Uh, whoa, inspired. Gain 60 alchemy. Yes, please. Hooray! We got two alchemy researches from that. Nice. All right, cool. So that means now we should have the capability to unlock this once I make an Essentia Smeltery. All right. Essentia Smeltery. Add that to the to-do list. I might drag this thing outside, but eh, we'll see. So to make this, we need uh, a couple brass plates. Do we still have some brass? We, we need to make more. That's iron with instrumentum, which I think was flint. Yeah. So that would be six. It's five to the thing, and then you five. So I need six iron. Right, so that, 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 perfect, and nice and clean. Okay, and then we want to compactor up two of these dudes. And then what else do we need for the it? We need a crucible and a furnace, so we need some Salus Mundus. We need a cauldron that we can turn into a crucible. Hooray! Okay. And then uh, a little bit of cobble, a little bit of a furnace, and we should be good to go. Hooray! We did the thing. All right. So you come away over here, and there's your Essentia Smeltery. Now, is that a completed thing? It is. Nice. Then we need the Alembics, right? Because uh, that's like the next piece of this whole puzzle. Uh, so we want like at least two, if not three, Alembics, if I remember correctly. Like two to three would be nice to have, uh, I think. So let's look at what would be involved in an Alembic. Right. Um, hey, what now? Why are you not showing me the recipe, JEI? I've unlocked the thing. I did it. I'm unlocked. So we need some great wood planks and Essentia filters, which is silver wood planks and gold. And then we're also, let's get three of them. So we're gonna want three buckets. We're gonna want some gold. We're gonna want some silver wood. And we're gonna want some great wood, right? Just get like a stack of you, because we've got tons of great wood and silver wood. I'm not super worried about not having enough, right? Let's just have a bunch and that'll be cool. Uh, and then we're also going to want another flint and another iron. And I feel like we should just get like a bunch of this stuff. What do you guys think? 16 sound cool? Can we just knock that out super quick so we have some? A little bit of a mess still, but that's okay.
How am I doing, uh, environment? Eh, I put my thing away, didn't I? Not terrible. I'm really doing okay. I'm doing a pretty good job of maintaining my flux levels. I'm really actually quite proud of how good a job I'm doing there. All right. So you're not going to show me the recipe for the Arcane Olympic? All right. Uh, well, what I remember is... So if I want... Actually, I want six of these, right? Essentia filters. Oh, I get 12 at a time. Well, I'll need them for later anyway. Uh, and then uh, we wanted buckets. We wanted this. We wanted this. And then we want six of these as plates, if I remember correctly. Hooray, Arcane Olympics times three. Looking good. Okay, so now that makes you happy, book? It does-ish. Okay, and now you want me to make jars. Yes, warded jars. These things are cool. Uh, they just need a little bit of V, but there's no crystals involved, so at least they're relatively easy. Void jars are also nice, but they use a lot more things. Brass lid brace. What does that do? Um... Uh, a jar label is there. Cool. You can also craft brass lid braces. When used on a jar, they will prevent Essentia being drawn from or placed into the jar by anything other than tubes. Picking up the jar will remove the brass. Ah, okay, that's neat. That's a neat idea. Okay. But let's just get some glass panes. Uh, I would like a stackish of you, or two stacks plus whatever I have left, and then wood. We're just gonna ch -ch 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 do that. Now, can you show me jars? Not that they're hard to make. Yay! You can show me jars. Good. Twenty. That sounds like a number I can do. Nice. Now we have lots and lots of jars. Seven sounds like a good time. I only need one more to fill that out, right? What was I short on glass? Can I just have... Oh, really? Did I never teach you my sand to glass recipe? I did not. Pattern, glass, it's smelted from... It's smelted from regular sand. Interface, smelter dude, redstone furnace. Yes. Would you be so kind as to make like a hundred of those? Ooh, you more sand. Me with never having enough sand. I'll tell you. That'll do. And that should be a pretty quick process, right? Because realistically, I just need one more jar. I don't need a ton more jars. I need one more jar just to have an even 21. Now that's not how many aspects there are, that's just a number that I randomly came up with at this moment for no reason other than it sounded like a good time and was about how many items I had. Not even gonna lie. Cool. I'll put you in there along with, wow, that thing really filled up quick, didn't it? Uh, is iron chest, the iron chest is in this, right? Yeah, it is, good. Uh, let's just upgrade this bad boy. Thanks, buddy. I could have done that as a crate, but eh, whatever. It's fun times. Cool. Okay. Come back in a sec. So the next step is Essentia tubes, which we have to go through. We're not going to use them because tubes are tricky. They're not. They're not terrible. They're just tricky and not what I like to do. I like to get to the Thalmium Essentia smelter and then Alchemical Automation, which leads to Advanced Essentia Transport, which is the best uh, way of transporting because it's cool particle effects, and I love those. Um, so we're going to do Essentia Tubes. For that, we need to get some files. So let's get a few files, because those are nice to have. And I don't believe that files require much. Hooray! There you go, files. Oh boy, it's bedtime. Can't believe it's getting so late already. These episodes fly by, just because I have fun with them. Like, you remember the last time I did Thumbcraft? Man, that's good times. Um, so then you can go here with your Arcane Alembics. Hooray. Uh, Alumentum's a really good 
fuel source for this, by the way. Uh, but failing that, you can totally use coal, right? So this goes in here, and then we can get, basically, instead of turning it into the aspects in the crucible, we can turn it into the aspects in here, and they'll bubble up into the alembics. And we can either pipe them out with tubes, the advanced essentia transport that I've so far hinted at, and glass files can take, I think, 10 at a time. Um, so for now, what we're going to do is make the things to complete the quest, which is, we need, not that, that. Uh, file of Vitium Essence, right, that's the nether wart, isn't it? Yeah, we need more nether wart, so I'm going to have to enter the nether. We're going to do that between episodes, but let's get another one. Um, we also need Vinculum, which would be soul sand, right? I think five of you, actually ten of you. Are webs in here? Do I have any spider webs? I do. What do they have by way of vinculum? Five. That's a much better number. I like that. So we put two in there, and then it should bubble up, and we should get our vinculum in there. Now, occasionally we lose some because these things are not super efficient, but we can get more efficiency later. Um, so we can do that, and then we're pretty good. Now, if we wanted to, we could also take this and pick it up that way. Cool. Cool. So that's one approach, right? But we just definitely need some vinculum, is the is the moral of the story, okay? Um, and then in addition to that, we're going to need what? Uh, Alienus, which is ender pearls, and alchemia, which is some kind of potiony type thing. Did we get alchemia when we did other things? We have vitreous, we have aqua. Alchemia is, I know, potions. So like blaze powder might have it. It totally does. Go direwolf. So if I got like 10 of you cooking, that should probably be good. Now remember, it's not 100% efficiency, so we're going to lose some to the environment. But we can increase that efficiency as we go by. And then ender pearls will get me alienus. How much alienus? Oh, perfect 10. Perfect 10. That sounds cool to me. Right? But we're probably going to need another one because efficiency. Right? We're not going to get 100%. I keep forgetting that. Cool. So that should bubble its way up. See, it's melting down the, the... It turns it into a liquid, and then it separates the liquid into the Alembics. Right? So we're getting some modus, because there was a lot of that. Come on, man. Give me more than five alienists. You gotta be kidding me with two ender pearls, right? You gotta give me five. All right, thanks. You did, you did a little bit better. Sweet. So we can do that and that to pick up those dudes. And then we'll do uh, the blaze powder to get the other stuff. All right? And this definitely is a little polluty. Eh, yeah, we're a little bit. But I don't think there's anything we can do about it right now. Now I can speed this up by the way, just FYI. See? And look at that, all the things. Hooray. That looks pretty good. Now, um, in order to complete this quest here, uh, we needed files of Alienus, which was this one, and Alchemia. And then the final one is Vitium, which I think we need Nether Wart for. So what I'm gonna do is wrap up the episode here, head to the Nether, get some more Nether Wart from uh, one of those fortresses we found, uh, and then come back next episode and continue along this long crafty path, I believe. All right, for now, the old 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.